first thing I should mention is that I ordered it on May 19th, so it took roughly around two and a half weeks to three weeks to show up. I should also add that I am five feet. Yes, I know. I'm very tall. So all the clothes that you're going to see on me, just think of it on a tiny teeny weeny little elf human who is five feet. The first shirt I got from YesStyle is this black t-shirt with an abstract face on it. I actually have a very similar sweater and I loved it so much that I got the t-shirt version. I think that the sleeve length for this shirt is absolutely perfect and the cut of this shirt is also really, really, really good for tucking into different skirts and pants and things like that, as well as having like that cropped like ponytail thingy in the front of your shirt. I actually am very very impressed with the fabric of this shirt. It's super, it's kind of thick and a little bit stretchy but still airy and it feels like it's made out of good quality. The one thing that I would say I'm a little bit concerned about is that the designs on the shirt itself kind of feel like they were painted on and so I'm afraid of what's going to happen if I throw it in the wash so I would suggest hand washing this shirt. Whenever I wear the sweater version of this shirt I get so many comments about the different weird sentences on it like it literally says over here like why are you here and random people will come up to me and be like why are you here? And I'd be like, what are you talking about? And they'd be like, your shirt. I'd be like, oh. It does have a loose thread at the bottom over here, but you can easily cut that off. I rate this nine out of 10 and I will be getting a lot of usage out of this and I am excited for people's random comments on the street. The next shirt I got is this map blouse. I very much enjoy interesting prints like this. I feel like there's so much like black, 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 black in my closet that like whenever I buy a shirt that has a fun pattern or a quirky design, I'm like, yes, finally I can break that monotony in my closet. At five feet, it hits me perfectly on my thighs, which I am very, very happy about. Like, because I'm an Orthodox Jew, I can't necessarily wear this by itself without a skirt underneath, but for everybody else, this would be super, super cute as a dress shirt, especially for more petite girls. And I also just love the versatility of this shirt because you can style it in so many ways. You can tie it like cropped in, in front of you. You can like tuck it in. I will say though that the material does feel a little bit nylon-y, so it's not necessarily like the best quality. But from far away, you can't really tell. And it's not like it's going to mess up the shirt. There are a bunch of loose threads, however, especially by the button area, but that's very easily fixable. You can just cut those off. Also, if you want to know what country you're going to be wearing, you will be wearing Spain, France, and the Mediterranean Sea. Just thought you'd know. The next top I bought was a sweatshirt. I have no idea what this says in Japanese. Like this could literally say like, I have three nostrils. Don't you ever get really, really scared when you see like random sentences in foreign languages and you have no idea what the flip they're saying? I actually have a Japanese friend, Rika. Rika, if you're watching this, could you tell me what the flip this is saying? Wait a minute, we're in 2020. I can text her. Chamsimanya. Okay, Rika replied, apparently it says girls in high school uniforms, which actually is quite profound if you think about it. In terms of what I think about the quality, like I have literally been eyeing this shirt for two years. I literally, every time I go on YesStyle, I go on it and I look at this sweater and I'm like, another time, no, 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 I shouldn't get it. I have too many black things. And then I finally caved this time and I was like, okay, you know what, I need to get this. So when I got it, I was a little bit disappointed in terms of the quality because this is definitely not a thick sweatshirt. I was expecting like a thick, warm sweatshirt that I can wear in the winter, but this is actually very, very thin material. This would be great for spring. It's very, very airy, but it's definitely not a winter sweatshirt that you can wear to keep warm. Another gripe that I have with it is that on the website, the white part of the design like was actually white and over here it's gray and I would have preferred it to be white but it is still super cute. Although I'm still going to get a lot of use out of this sweatshirt because it's just so cute. Like it looks super good on me. The cut really, really fits my body. And because it's so thin actually, I can tuck it into so many different things, especially pencil skirts. And it won't look like it's bunching up around my middle, which is a huge, huge plus for me. I then, wouldn't you know it, got another black t-shirt. Yay. <laughs> 
This one actually, I am very, very pleasantly surprised. The fabric feels, while it does feel a little bit starchy, it's still much more of a cottony fabric than the other shirts. And the embroidery, basically look at this. There is such a beautiful embroidery of a crane on the back of the t-shirt. The embroidery is just such beautiful quality. They, they took time to design this and put it onto the shirt. This is, I don't know, like I feel like with like a very intricate piece of embroidery like this, you're definitely getting something that looks classy and like it's good quality. And it wasn't even that expensive. And aside from the big embroidered crane in the back, you also have a little embroidered crane in the front. Wait, I wanna name the little crane. The little crane, hmm, Sasha? Nah, George? Nah, not George. I don't know, what do you think, Craney? Do you think you look like a George? No? Fine, then you choose your name. Bartholomew? Ew, what kind of a, I'm not trying to insult you, I'm just saying it's an ugly, I know, I know you have your own free choice and free expression, but like, you could have chosen any name he wants to be Bartholomew. There's really nothing I can do. Are you going to give me this headache? Good. Okay. This crane is going to let you choose what his name is. Her or wait, what do you identify as? Gender fluid. All in all though, I definitely give this shirt a nine out of 10. I love the boxy cut that allows me to tuck it in beautifully and it just drapes along my body. I also love the sleeve length. I love that the sleeves are a little bit longer and hit me just above the elbow. All in all, I know that I'm going to get a lot of use out of this shirt. The next shirt I got is this white t-shirt that says cat on it. So this shirt is a little bit mixed reviews for me because even though it's super, super cute and the fabric and quality is amazing, it's like a soft, almost velvety, stretchy texture that is very, very, very breathable. I don't know if the cut looks super amazing on me. It's still super cute and I know that I'm going to get a lot of use out of it, but the neckline was just a little bit weird for me. For the time being, I put like a bobby pin in the back which is a trick that we Orthodox Jewish girls learned in how to keep your neckline closed 101. It also like, I ordered this in an extra large. So even though I ordered it in an extra large, it's still just a tad off from oversized, like comfortably oversized, but it still is super cute. And I think actually one good thing about the fact that it's not as oversized is when I tie it up at the front over here, it actually cinches in my waist very, very nicely. So that's actually a good thing. And because I thought I was going to like that shirt so much, I ordered it in pink. But here's the thing. The shirt that I ordered in pink was a very light, airy pastel pink color and this is a hot pink i am about to bleach my kitchen floors kind of pink this is the kind of pink that looks like a pajama shirt that i would have worn at age 13. actually one moment here it is this is a pajama shirt that I stole from my sister when she was 13 years old. Sorry, sis. Don't they look similar? <laughs> yeah. I have an issue with this. All in all, I rate this a three out of 10 because even though it's good quality, I hate this color. Although if you like this color and you think that it'll look good on you, then definitely this goes up to like a nine out of 10 or an eight out of 10 because there's nothing necessarily wrong with the shirt. It's just a deeper pink than I would have liked. The next shirt I got is actually not that much for summer, but you know, I'm currently in Boston and it's going to get cold in a couple months. And so I figured why not? It is actually a white turtleneck it's not super, super warm. It's one of the thin ones, but I actually like that because it's like still very classy and chic and sometimes you don't want necessarily want something that's super, super warm and thick. I actually did buy this already in black and I loved it so much that I decided to purchase the white one. I have absolutely no complaints with this. It's cute. It's a good quality. It lasts in the wash. I would say though, like the white one is a little bit see-through, so just make sure to wear something underneath. And I just think this is a really good basic to have for spaghetti strap dresses that I don't actually have or other very cute clothing that I only have on my Pinterest. And now it's time for the misses. So I purchased this green midi skirt in the hopes that 
I could add a little bit of springy, summery color to my wardrobe instead of all the black, black, black that I have. But alas, this skirt looks like if you went to a first grade class and told them, class, today we're going to learn how to make a skirt. And Tommy picks a cheap fabric that Miss Smithsonian decided to buy from the dollar store and he makes this skirt and he goes up to the teacher and he says Teacho, I made a skirt and Miss Smithsonian is like, oh, Timmy, good job. Here's a sticker Because literally I mean look at the cupcake. First of all the buttons are some of them are kind of loose this fabric is so thin and nylon-y that I feel like if I just stuck my nail in it for too long, it would just completely rip. And that's not good. Another thing is that there are loose threads everywhere, but you know, that's, you get that a lot on YesStyle. You can just snip those off. And I think the last gripe I have with this is that it looks so terrible on me. <laughs> I think maybe that's the reason why I hated this skirt so much, not because it was actually such bad quality, but because it made me look so not, not, not pretty. This skirt actually did come with a cropped, puffy top situation, but honestly, I think that this was just extra credit from Alice. I think she was an overachiever and just wanted to outdo Timmy, so she decided to make this shirt thing from the extra leftover fabric. I actually was very excited when I saw this because I thought it would have been very, very cute to try out with the white turtleneck underneath, but it is just such bad quality that it just looks terrible on me. I, overall, I rate this two-piece set a negative one out of 10. Actually, I don't even want to rate it. I'm just going to give it a sticker that says good job. Like the sticker that says super or superb goes to Natasha, who did a way better job than Timothy and Alice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Timothy and Alice. Do better next time. So I've been wanting a good denim skirt for about like three years now. I still haven't actually found anything. So I decided to order on YesStyle but I was very stupid. I ordered in medium. You see, YesStyle is notorious for having extremely Asian sizes, and I always thought that that wasn't an issue for me because I am still very petite and small, and I usually fit into most of the clothes, but I realized that A, I probably gained weight from doing nothing over quarantine, and B, I am actually pear-shaped, so the top of my body is smaller than the bottom of my body, which is a little bit wider. And because of that, pencil skirts and things like that, especially when built for much more narrow and thin girls, will not fit me. So I ordered this pencil skirt, this denim pencil skirt, and I was so stupid, I already ordered this in small, and I hated it. And I was like, okay, I like this skirt, but I need to order it in a size up. And so I ordered it in a size up, but it still doesn't fit me. <laughs> Rule for yes style, you should just always know this. Take your measurements. If you don't have a tape measure, stop everything and go get one before you buy on yes style. Don't be me, okay? Use me as an example. Measure yourself and then compare the measurements to what the measurements say on YesStyle because it's not necessarily YesStyle's fault that I bought this. Like they had the, the measurements on there. I was just a complete idiot. I think just for me, I actually have started to get into more sustainable fashion. Like I splurged this year and bought Doc Martens and I think this was actually the best purchase of the year for me because if I take care of these, I don't have to buy combat boots for the next 10 years to be honest and I buy I go through combat boots so easily and the amount of money that I have spent over the years on combat boots equals the $150 I spent on these Doc Martens so I think for me it might actually be time to start investing in better pieces that are better quality so that I don't end up with something like this 
So the first thing I got in terms of jewelry are these twisted gold hoop earrings in size medium. I love these earrings and I think this is one of the best purchases that I made because it looks and feels like such good quality. It feels like a heavy metal, it feels good in my hands. And there are different sizes online as well as you can get them in silver or gold, your choice. And I think this is just a super cute option for when you want something that's classy it still has a little bit of funk. I feel like Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. The next thing I got was your basic 2019 Brandy Melville star choker. I actually had a gold star necklace like this that I got from Forever 21. It wasn't a choker, it was like a necklace and I would tie it in the back, but I lost it in South Station because who ties their necklaces when they're made of metal? Like that's such a dumb idea. So I finally went on yes style and purchased this gold choker i think it is super cute i think it looks super cute on me and i'm really really excited to wear it with white dresses and t-shirts and different summery things once we are let out of prison i will say though that the star is missing from one of the hoops towards the back so you don't necessarily see it i would rate this Mm, 8 out of 10. I'm, I'm taking off a point for the star, but otherwise, super, super cute, and I'm really excited to wear it.